welcome back guys thanks for watching today we have a brand new episode it's the holiday update of 2021 lots of changes here so we'll quickly go through the release notes we have a brand new light show in the toy box feature watch your tesla dance a choreograph light show any time of year open toy box tap light show and follow the instructions we have customizable app launcher drag and drop your favorite apps to any position along the bottom menu bar for easy access to customize your menu bar hold any icon then drag to reorder to adjust climate controls such as heated seats and defrost tap on the temperature or swipe up from the bottom of the screen simplified controls the display has been simplified to focus on navigation media and the most common primary controls for windshield wipers and status bar information tap controls oh, hold on for charging control taps control for trip and odometer information tap controls trips for tire pressure information tap controls service no activating the windshield wipers while the stock will continue to display the wiper card swipe down blind spot camera we have that it can now automatically see a live camera view of your blind spot whenever you activate the turn signal. To enable, tap controls, autopilot, automatic blind spot camera. Edit waypoints, so you can reorder it. Sentry mode live camera, so this is a brand new feature that just came out on this uh, software version for Canadians. You can now view your car surroundings from the Tesla app when parked to confirm the safety of your environment before returning to your car. Live camera is end-to-end -end encryption and cannot be accessed by Tesla. To enable or disable, tap control safety, view live camera via mobile app from the vehicle touchscreen. And uh, it's saying it needs a mobile app version 4.21 or higher and premium connectivity, which we do have here. We have the brand new game Sonic the Hedgehog. We have the Battle of Polytopia multiplayer support. That would be pretty cool. Sudoku uh, arcade improvements. Subwoofer updates. You can now adjust your subwoofer by bringing up your media player and tapping the settings icon under tone. We have the usual code weather improvements. Automatic seat heaters, first row seat. Heaters can now automatically regulate seat temperature based on the cabin environment and the climate control set temperature. Okay, manage dashboard clips. Easily delete all dashboard dash cam video clips directly from the touch screen by tapping control safety dash cam delete dash cam clips. Ooh, that dark mode. You can now change the dark theme display. Hide map details. Simplify your navigation app and hide map details by tapping the pin button on the screen. So it's some changes to the UI, home link, I can click here. My vehicle is charging right now, so you can see a green bar at the top. I'm charging at 11 kilowatt, 3 kilowatt hours have been added so far, 48 amps, and uh, my voltage is 234. My charge limit is set at 90. Okay, so you got the phone app here. You have your new radio audio sources streaming radio bluetooth streaming spotify karaoke tuned in and title let's see here you got the basic backup camera as well as your side views you have your apps here a bunch of apps we have our energy consumption we have your toy box Let's see what else we have. So this is a 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive version. So we do not have the pedestrian warning uh, speaker system. So we don't have boombox. Theater, Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, and arcade. We have Sonic the Hedgehog, Sudoku, Skyforce, Box. We have our browser. Okay. 
This is the new UI. Let's go get some, uh, could take some getting used to. We have home link over here. We have our alerts, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LTE, pedals and steering. Standard, okay, nothing's changing there. Charging, looks pretty cool. Autopilot. I'm going to turn on the automatic blind spot camera, which is a new feature. Everything else seems the same. Locks is pretty much the same. We have the new uh, driver door unlock mode, so that came out in our last update, 22. Sorry, 2021.44.6, I believe it was. Okay, lights seems pretty much the same. Display seems pretty much the same. Trips. Okay, so instead of having the swipe cards there, you have more of the information here. Navigation is the same. Safety. I want to enable the, sorry, enable the view live camera via mobile app. A little bit of information. Live camera allows you to remotely view your car's surroundings when parked for additional security and convenience. For example, you can view your car's environment before returning or see if you missed a parking meter after you walked away. When in use, the car's headlights will pulse and the touchscreen will show sentry mode is activated. Please note it is your sole responsibility to consult and comply with all local regulations and properly, restric properly restrictions regarding video recordings. Okay, so we'll Turn that on. You can now delete dash cam clips. Let's try that. So, okay, so when, when you do that, it'll just delete everything there. Service. Seat and steering calibrations there. So we'll leave that. Software. We are on version 11. 2020, 20, oh sorry, 2021.44.25.2, and there's our quick overview, let me see here, I'm looking for, go back to the toy box, so we have this brand new, it's a light show, you can start the show, park outside and enjoy the show, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, I might wake up the neighbors but uh, yeah it's like the model x where all the headlights hazard lights fog lights are blinking dancing to uh the christmas uh, song all right so that's a very very quick overview of the brand new uh, software if you like this video please hit the like uh, comment down below and uh, subscribe to my channel and we'll have more in the next uh, coming days. Alright, thanks and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.